What's up guys, it's Daryl Williams, your favorite real estate agent's favorite real estate agent. Changing the scenery up a little bit today, coming from behind my desk in my apartment instead of walking around this cool neighborhood of Harlem. Um, this is where all the real estate happens. Yes, I said real estate, I made that word up. Before we jump into today's topic though, please take this moment to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and definitely share it as well. So today, I wanted to, to talk to those out there who are thinking about getting their real estate license and give you some game. And that game is three reasons why you should not become a real estate agent if you are thinking about it. If you've done the course and you're about to take the test, I need you to stop right now and listen to this and then make your decision after. So reason number one why you should never become a real estate agent, you don't get paid every week. I know it sucks, especially if you're used to every Friday that check hitting your bank account at 12 a.m. midnight. And that goes all the way once you become a real estate agent. You're 100% commission based. You are now a 1099 individual, which means you gotta take your own taxes out. And if you don't, if you forget to pay Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam's not gonna forget that you didn't pay him. So that's something to keep in mind as well as an independent contractor. <sighs> Deals take anywhere on average from 45 to 90 days to close, depending if it's a co-op or a condo or if the person is financing or paying all cash. So I can put a deal in today and I'm probably not gonna get paid for that for until December or January. And that sucks again. If you don't have a side gig, if you don't have a side hustle or a part-time job, it's gonna really be hard to do this as a real estate agent. And like I said, most agents don't make it within their first year, they quit. And this is definitely one of those reasons. And if you wanna be a successful real estate agent, you kinda of have to do it full time, so I guess, a full-time job and doing this part-time doesn't really make sense. So that's reason number one why you should never become a real estate agent. Now, reason number two, I know I'm holding up four, but reason number two why you should not become a real estate agent, there's no benefits. And you know Americans, we love benefits, healthcare, dental care, eye care, um, paid sick leave, paid vacation, none of that, all that goes out the window. If you take a vacation, you're not working, you choose to do that, you're not gonna get paid for it. Um, these are things now you have to factor in when you finally get that paycheck after 90 days to factor in a budget for like how I'm gonna pay for, get my teeth clean, get my eye checked, get my yearly checkup. These are all things now you have to pay for private insurance. Unless you have a spouse who works in nine to five where you can be on their insurance, it makes life a little bit easier. But if other than that, you either go with no insurance and uh, gamble with life or you pay for private insurance. And for most people, that's a no-no. Like, they can go without the weekly income and not have an insurance. No. So, I mean, an alternative is probably to get, like, Medicare or something like that. No, that's for older individuals. Medicaid. <laughs> get Medicaid or something like that if you're going to be an independent contractor. That could be an option for you. This is um, not advice. Um, <laughs> I'm just mentioning this. So, reason number three why you should never become a real estate agent. <sighs> It's freaking hard. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're lying to you. Being a real estate agent is freaking hard. I mentioned that in vlog number one. If you didn't watch it, go back and check it out. This is my intro to this whole thing. So, it's really hard. Um, clients will ghost you, not talk to you, not text you, not call you back. You will work with someone for four months and then they decide not to buy it. And you're like, what? And that ish sucks when that happens. And all of this has happened to me. They might put in an offer and then take back their offer. They might even go put in an offer on a property without you and you don't get a commission and you've been waiting three months um, to, to close the deal. And that sucks. So it's, it's, you know, dealing, it's a people business and dealing with people can be difficult. And, and it's not just showing apartments, there's the whole paperwork, dealing with lawyers, dealing with banks, dealing with um, unresponsive clients, unresponsive sellers agents, listing agents, unresponsive attorneys. It all makes the job that much harder. So if you can't deal with that, if that stresses you out, because it's a very stressful job. Like, I'm stressed all the time. <laughs> and if you can't handle that, then being a real estate agent is just not for you. Because again, it is really freaking hard. It takes at least three years to get your feet really in the ground in this business. And I've only been in it for two years. So I'm hoping for year three to be whoo, a lot better, making a lot more money, but who knows. So there you have it three reasons why you should never become a real estate agent you don't get paid every week no benefits and it's really freaking hard but after listening to all of these things and you still want to become a real estate agent you might 
just be like me, sort of a mas masochist, and he was ready for this adventure, and you might be able to crush this business. So in that case, I go go get your license and do this thing because real estate agent is def being a real estate agent is definitely a very fulfilling career, especially when you see that at the end of the year on your 1099 you made eighty thousand dollars, and that was all from your blood, sweat, and tears. So. That's my advice, unsolicited. Um, if you want to become a real estate agent, do for it. If not, good luck.